As those efforts continue across the southeastern part of the United States, we have team coverage tracking the impact of Hurricane Helene across different sectors of the economy. Megan Casella is looking at the challenges facing the chip makers after that small but significant mining town got hit with two feet of rain. And Diana Olick is digging into the uninsured losses with a look at some new technology trying to help homeowners get a better idea of the climate risks they face. Welcome to both of you. Megan, let's start with you. Hey, Kelly. So we introduced you guys a couple of days ago to the town of Spruce Pine, which produces virtually the entire global supply of high purity quartz. It's crucial for chip making. But the companies that are operating the mines there in Spruce Pine are projecting some optimism now after last week's storm. But the logistical challenges that they face are still huge. So Sabelco, the larger of the two mine operators, is out with a new statement today saying they see only minor damage to their facilities. And Quartz Corp, they say their damage is concentrated in what they describe described as ancillary units and that they believe they can supply they can avoid supply disruptions for their customers in part because they have some inventory in Norway that's where the company's refineries are but neither company Kelly is able to provide any sort of timing estimate as to when they can start mining refining or shipping and that poses a big supply risk for the chip makers that are dependent on them and the biggest issue here is the hit to the town's infrastructure which the companies use both to get chemicals in and to get their product back out you Utilities are still down now more than a week after the storm. 167 roads are closed in this area, including the road where Quartz Corp is based, because a bridge is washed out, according to the state's Department of Transportation. Railroads are also flooded or torn up. And TechSet, they track the Quartz supply chain. They're telling me today that they now think it could be less than a month before the mines themselves are operational, but it's looking like more than a month, they say, before these logistical issues, Kelly, are worked out. And I was immediately thinking, even if they have those facilities, facilities in Norway, could they get them in with the port strike? And hopefully at least that issue is also now uh, at bay as well. For now, Megan, thanks. Megan Casella.